Hey guys, welcome back to the three-hour news show only on C today with me, Ramalan. And now it is time for some business updates. The Think 20 or T20 is the official engagement group of G20 that committed to provide innovative ideas and also research-based policy recommendations. Now, for seven months, the T20 task force has been working on policy briefs that will deliver to world leaders. Now, the T20 acknowledgments will be delivered to G20 presidency during this summit on Monday. Now, to know more about it, we are now connected with our very own reporter, Rebecca Napitopulu, and also video journalist, Dian Merdekawati from Nusa Dua Bali here in Indonesia. Becca. Yes, that is right. T20 is the official engagement group of G20. You might not hear as much as other official groups, but T20 stands for Think20 is actually gathering world-leading thinkers. It's a think tank, if you can say, policymakers and also experts to discuss the latest research-based policy recommendations and also matters of global importance. And T20 has been working with 600 authors on policy briefs around three key teams that will take the center stage on the summit that will be held on Monday from the 5th up to the 6th of September. And those three key teams are global health architecture. Of course, it's very important after the COVID-19 pandemic. Also, we'll talk about digital transformation and also energy transition. So if I may recap a little bit about the process that the T20 2022 have been going through on February this year, it started with T20 Inception Conference that launched priorities and also the T20 Task Force. And from February up to August, they are working with, on policy briefs, roundtable events, and task force sites events, talking about those three teams that I mentioned earlier. And on September, in the next two months, they will gather in the summit to deliver the T20 acknowledgement to the G20 presidency that will be held later on fe uh, November. And um, from the information that we gather on the T20 summit, the opening remarks will be delivered by the former Minister of Research and Technology of Republic of Indonesia and also the former Minister of National Development Planning, Bambang Brojonegoro, as the lead co-chair of T20 2022. And during this two days event, there will be several sessions, but there will be four main plenary session. The first session will talk about bridging diverse interests for global greater global cooperation that will discuss how the G20 members can bridge interests and challenges from the geopolitical, socioeconomic and also environment. As we mentioned before, energy transition is the key part as well. And on the second plenary session, it will talk about smoothing green and just energy transition. We'll gather insights on how the public and private sectors work together to smooth the green energy transition in G20 members' countries. And on the plenary session three, it will talk about rethinking social well-being in digital society. This is very important and very interesting because it will talk about how social welfare systems can be reoriented to achieve inclusive, sustainable, and resilient uh, prosperity, but of course, with the support as the digital, uh, with the digital work, as we see how fast our digital movement have been growing around the world. And on the fourth plenary session, it will talk about the whole T20 policies and also recommendations to the G20 presidency. And as a result of the discussion from ministers, professors, and leaders of foundations that will deliver those solutions and recommendations for those three teams that uh, will be talked about during this event. And it's going to be a two days event full of brilliant thinkers and policymakers that will come together to talk about what the world can do to make this world a better place to live. Back to the studio. Right, Rebecca. Thank you so much for the update regarding T20.